So, clapper boards, roll A, scene one, take four. Okay, well, I know normally I'm bringing you uh, content that relates to photography, um, but I am actually by trade a video cameraman. That's how I started my first 17 years of, of work uh, in imaging was with uh, video. So, um, a little bit of content for you for those people who are just starting out on the video side of things. Uh, they want to get into the industry, need to figure out their path, how to go, what to do, and also the hardware used. Something as innocent looking as the clapperboard, it serves many, many purposes, and I'm quickly going to go through those right now. And I'm also going to show you, um, when we get to the edit, um, how it is that we accomplish what it is that the clapperboard allows us to accomplish very, very quickly. Okay, so the clapperboard, normally plastic, um, is uh, a system or, or, or an item that is used that allows us to synchronize sound with the image if the sound is being recorded by a device other than the camera or a microphone that's plugged in directly to the camera. Um, now, in this instance, here we are. This is a portable audio recording device. It is the H2N from a company called Zoom. Uh, and you will notice I've got my little uh, microphone uh, clipped to me here. And this microphone is plugged into that recorder so that I can use the audio from that in order to accom accompany the images that the camera is recording. Now, when you bear that in mind, when you come to the edit, you're gonna have a, an audio track that belongs to the camera audio and then you're going to have another audio track that belongs to the audio recorder that you're using uh, and what you need to do is to be able to synchronize very very simply the audio from the two devices okay and that is what the clapperboard does okay what you'll notice that noise that it makes that noise occupies the space in video of one frame. It's an instant and uh, instant and very recognizable noise. Now, when that is recorded both by the camera audio and my mic, that in the audio track is going to give you a very pronounced spike, like a pop, as you would imagine. Okay, and then it's just a matter of making sure that both of those spikes align perfectly in order to synchronize the audio from my microphone to the audio from the camera. Because if it isn't, it looks very, very strange. Okay, that is why we need to synchronize the audio. Now, on the clapperboard, there's also some information, additional information that is useful to the editor um, when it comes to the post-production phase. Let's just take a quick look and see what that information is. So here is your clapperboard uh, and the information that we've got on it. Well, first off, to start with at the top, we've got this nice color board. It isn't to make it look nice. It's just so that the editor, when they come to, to edit, they can check against the calibration of their monitor and to see how these colors come out um, to determine if they need to make any uh, white balance shifts, temperature shifts uh, to get their, their base track ready before it goes to um, color correction. OK. Um, Starting at the top, the information that we've got, the production name, uh, in this instance, clapperboards, with a question mark, okay. Um, roll, this is their A camera, okay, or the A roll, so this is the very specific uh, information that deals with the subject. It's not behind the scenes or B roll. Um, it's scene one, take four, because it's taken four trials to get to this particular scene. Okay, maybe there's been bloopers, <coughs> excuse me, or maybe it's because um, some people have uh, wanted to just have a, a selection of takes in order to get the best one. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, director, in these troubled times, we've hired the use of the very, very skilled Marco Quarantino, okay, um, world-renowned uh, director. This is going to be a slam dunk. Um, the camera that we're using uh, is a Sony A7S III, I wish. And then at the bottom, today's date. Um, and then you can also mark, where are we? So you can also mark, okay, we're shooting in the daytime. Um, we're inside or interior. And then any filters, if you've gotten any, any, you can mark them down here. Okay. Don't forget, folks, make sure you use indelible markers. 
okay, or one that will be that will wipe off nicely <laughs> and not be permanent. Okay, awesome. Uh, and so yeah, that is your clapboard with all of the information uh, that is needed by the editor. Now sometimes if you don't have a clapper on hand, all you need to do is clap. Makes sense, right? Uh, anyway, so earlier on I mentioned um, that I'm using this audio recorder um, via this mic that you can see on front on my chest here. Okay, but let's just have a quick look at some of the other mic options that you can run um, in order to address your audio issue because normally the audio capabilities of just the, the, the bare bones camera um, generally tends not to be too fantastic. Uh, after all, it's the technology of the image that we're after more than the sound uh, when it comes to cameras. So first off, okay, now I must also state that whilst the two systems that I'm going to show you now are made by the same manufacturer, I am in no way, shape or form supported by said manufacturer. Okay, first off we have this, this is called the VideoMic Pro and this, the first thing you'll notice about it is it's very very hairy. Um, now in fact what this is, uh, what we call in the industry, it's a dead cat. Um, and a dead cat is something, is, is, is a covering for your microphone that especially if you're working in an exterior situation, um, this fits over your microphone and any wind that hits the mic, you don't get that interference that you normally associate high wind on a microphone with because this material just absorbs that wind uh, and stops it from impacting too much in a negative way um, the quality of the sound, all right? That in itself then as a microphone it's got its own little jack that plugs into your camera. You've got your settings that you can set up here uh, and it does uh, you know, a very good job in and of itself. Um, it's made by a company called Rode Microphones, uh, deemed by many or thought of by many, highly regarded by many as being the leader in um, onboard video microphones. Um, it sits in its own little carriage here to adjust any uh, bangs that you may uh, encounter along the way. Give it a good old shake. Uh, okay, and it's uh, an awesome little device. Now, because this is feeding audio directly into the camera, um, you shouldn't necessarily have to go through the uh, rigmarole of what we're going to do later on. Um, but you can't always get an onboard microphone onto a camera because space you might be you may be crawling into a, a tight area um etc etc so what you would need to do is have a, a wi-fi um, mic or a, a wireless mic option and again from the manufacturer road uh, you've got this system that i use it's called the road link okay now across the industry across the audio industry spectrum um, if you've got a couple of units one that sends and one that receives these are identified by either the words or the letters are X. In this case, this is the receiver. So this would sit on top of the camera or somewhere on the camera rig. Uh, it would be connected by a cable from the side into your camera. And that would then feed the audio that it receives from the transmitter, which funnily enough is indicated by the two letters TX uh, on, this on this particular part of the unit. Um, this would then have a a microphone similar to the one that I'm wearing here um, that would have a microphone plugged into it uh, and with the clip that you've got there uh, that would then sit somewhere on the person on the actor the, um, the what's called the talent moi um, that would sit hidden by clothes and you'd have the microphone feeding the audio out via Wi-Fi signal to the receiver and funnily enough as well on a little mic like this you can also get a very small dead cat, maybe a dead kitten, <laughs> uh, and that would then, if I'm in an outdoor situation, pop onto there and it would stop any wind interference on the microphone. Okay, so now that we have a bit of an understanding about the microphones and, and the different ones that we can use, why not let's pop into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you how we accomplish very quickly uh, the synchronization of audio from a audio recorder and the audio track onto a camera. Okay, awesome. Let's go into uh, Final Cut Pro. Here we are here. Now I've already got a clip loaded uh, and what you can see is the intro clip for the clapperboard. Now if we just play this, you'll be able to hear this. 
There we go, you heard that little clap. Let's just turn it up a little bit. Okay, now that is the audio that was accompanying from the camera, okay? What I've also got up here is the audio clip that came from my Zoom audio recorder. I'm just gonna lay that down here, okay? Let's adjust the timeline so that things are a little bit bigger and we can see them maybe a bit easier. Okay, now what we've got on this timeline, just, just close that, what we've got on this timeline, okay, are these very two prominent peaks and this is where the clapperboard closes. Okay, that was from the camera recording and this, let's just cut this down a bit so it makes it easier. So, okay, get rid of that, here we go. Now if we move this along, boom. Okay, now what is recorded under here, let's just turn this audio track down. This is the recording of the clapper sound from my uh, audio recorder. Starting two. Okay, now, so in order to correctly synchronize the um, two tracks, what we need to do is we need to find and match where those two clapper sounds are at their peak. Okay, now with the clip marked, okay, what, with the clip marked, all I need to do now is step forward frame by frame. And at that frame there, you can see on the audio waveform as well on the side here, you can see that pink, the peak of that event on that frame. There you go. Now all I need to do is mark that with a marker and so it's uh, on the keyboard M. That adds a marker to this clip here. Okay. Now I need to do the same thing, highlight this, this uh, audio track down here, put my mouse just before it and then just step forward until I get that definite peak Okay, I then add marker to that by keystroke M. You'll see that there's now a purple marker here and a purple marker here. If I drag the audio track back, it will lock in place because I've got clipping enabled, uh, snapping enabled, sorry. And now that track is gonna be synchronized. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the clapper board. Now, if I reduce the audio on here, You'll be able to see that as well. Hmm. Okay, so here we have the uh, the clapper board, and what you'll know. And there you have it. That is how you synchronize audio when you're using a clapper board um, with a third-party audio recorder, in this case the H2N, and the audio or the images that you have from your camera. Okay, well there you have it. Very, very simple, very quick, um, but hopefully it's something that will help you uh, in your, or those of you who are, who are starting out in video. Um, I just wanted to wrap up um, by conveying a message of hope from my family and I uh, to your family and yours, uh, hoping that you do stay fit, stay healthy, stay distant, stay at home, uh, and please do follow the guidelines of the, your, your local um, authorities. You know, at the end of the day, they've got your best interests at heart, um, and you know, what they're saying is for your own benefit. So please, please, please stay healthy. Now, I also realize that there is a huge amount of content now that you've got a lot of time on your hands at home. There's a lot of content on YouTube that you could uh, watch uh, from photographers like myself. Uh, so the fact that you include my content in your viewing is, for me, it is a tremendous honor. And I doff my cap, or albeit beanie, uh, to you guys uh, with a massive hand on my heart saying thank you so much. Um, all that remains is for me to say, hopefully it won't be too long, we'll get through this coronavirus uh, that's going around, we'll get through this whole pandemic, and then we can get back to the fun stuff of being out in the jungles or out on other islands here in Okinawa, and I can bring you into your homes the, the magic of the this incredible location so uh, until that time i'm sure there'll be more content from me uh, addressing hardware and other issues uh, within photography and videography uh, but until that time arrives stay well stay healthy uh, and uh, see you soon <laughs>